Welcome everyone. In this video we are going to learn the divide spell. So if you want to take a guess at what our finale wand's going to look like, it looks super fantastic. I think the only thing that matters is Castellay recharge time and it being a 25 and 25. Well, I mean, that's pretty much everything on the wand, but like you can change the values on this. Either way, this is what the finale wand looks like. So take a guess on what it's going to shoot and uh, let's get into it. All right, so we got our, our black magic particles, which look pretty nice now that I think about it. So we got all these modifiers and everything, uh, and it's going to do with the divide by 10. So it works with every divide spell. The divide spell will actually divide the modifier and give it 11 times its potency. So that works for all types of modifiers and we're going to show them off because it's going to be fun. So we're going to get through this wand. It, it's going to get progressively more and more destructive. So this first one, uh, we just got our nice particle effects. Ooh, wrong wand. This nice blood trail that looks pretty cool. Then we have our green trail and our pink trail. Our, I think this is orange. Yeah. And then our red. And then we get some light effect, which is extremely bright. Then we get some, ooh, I skipped one. We get some electricity. Some fire. Then we can divide it and have a, a kind of neat looking firework. I'll fire it up once. And then we get to knock back. So normally knock back will knock you back this far. Uh, when you divide it, it knocks you back this far. <laughs> A little bit excessive, but you know, if you're trying to make a, a chain, like you're trying to make a broom wand, then you just throw a divide by on it and you, you get knocked back super far. So it's super cool. And then we're going to get into, uh, you know what, let's show off these. So this is the Chaos LARPA. Um, and it's a new modifier, it makes the projectile cast a copy of itself in random directions. So normally it looks like this. It's cool, but we can make it cooler. So there's that. And then I, I'm not gonna show the um, what it looks like before. So there's Copy trail, which makes a projectile leave a trail of copies of itself. And uh, this one's a little bit chaotic. And then we have upwards LARPA. Looks kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. Like transcending, I don't know. And then downwards, oh, we don't have downwards LARPA? Oh, that's okay. It's the exact same as this, except downwards. And then we got LARPA Explosion, which I, I didn't even read what this one does. Makes a projectile cast a copy of itself with an upwards trajectory. And then this one is a projectile will shoot out eight copies of itself when it expires or hits the ground. So, 80. <laughs> It's fantastic. What a great thing. So I'm just using Chain Bolt because it's my favorite spell, but it'll work on anything. So that's how that divides it and it'll work with any divide. I just have the divide by 10 because it's the most chaotic and the highest number. And ooh, let's swap this back. Just kidding. I don't know where I'm putting everything. There we go. And then we're going to get into more, ooh, before that, I I was trying to figure out how to get critical plus to work and then 
there's an interaction with like spell duplication that I don't understand. So let me see if I can show that off. Uh, like this. So how this should read is it's always, uh, this is the test wand. So there's nothing like going on that's funny or anything like that. So it reads divide by 10 on this double spell and then it casts this energy orb and this spell duplication. So it looks like this. It fires two. And I was like, okay, maybe it was this. That was not 11. Or maybe it is. I don't know, but it's, it's strange. I have no clue how to work that properly. Maybe someone is smarter than I and can enlighten me on it, but um, uh, crit also does not uh, get amplified by the uh, 10 times multiplier because with 11 times 15 we would guaranteed crit and we didn't crit so yeah and then another thing that I didn't uh, throw up here is recharge time uh, I have not found out if uh, like if blood magic can be duplicated to get its benefits um, I tried testing it on a wand with uh, three second recharge and three second cast delay I tried it with all the modifiers and stuff like that it didn't seem to have an effect but maybe I was just testing it wrong or maybe it, it's set up in a weird way but yeah and then let's get into these ones so the accelerating shot is why I have this orb here, because it doesn't work on chain bolt, because you can't... Oh, wait. Oh, that's strange. I didn't know that. Huh. Apparently it goes backwards. Okay. Well, it does work on chain bolt. <laughs> well, I'll throw this on here, because this is super neat. Any projectile, it'll just stop midair. Boop. Oh, it's so neat. It's, uh, it's a great interaction. And then we're gonna get into projectile shield. So it makes the chain bolt like bounce around because there's so many shields in the way. Uh, here, can I show it off? Oh no, is it just gonna go straight no matter what? Oh, I guess it's just gonna go straight. Uh, when I when I was testing it earlier, it was like bouncing a little bit to the angles. So there's that. And then some more practical, if you divide the damage field, it it's pretty practical I mean 450 444 damage I didn't even say it right the second time 445 damage isn't nothing to laugh at and then heavy shot it will only cast forwards no matter how you cast it it'll only cast this way and that's because there's so many heavy shots I actually didn't try it with orb let's see what it looks like oh it does nothing Okay, well, now we know. And then we're getting into the more detrimental spells like uh, Tentacler. Oh wait, Tentacler's gonna throw this around, isn't it? Let's cast it this way. Oh, I love it. And just for point of reference, this is how many tentacles spawn normally. All right, and then the fire trail, let's throw this. This is a, a little bit chaotic. Just encase them in fire. And then this one is probably one of my favorite, seizure warning. If anyone is light sensitive, please look away. I'll, I'll throw it in front of the video too, but this one's pretty bad. All right, and then we got Fireball Thrower. Nothing too spectacular. And then Downwards Bolt Bundle. So this one, I'm just gonna cast above it because it's it'll cast below me no matter what, but I think it's best showed off this way. And then Octo Ape Bundle. What was it called? Octagonal Bolt Bundle. Octo Ape Bundle. And we do have explosion immunity. 
and it still hurts us. I don't know by how much, um, but yeah, still hurts us with explosion immunity. And then we get into this thing. So this is also a new modifier. It, it's a mini earthquake. Uh, when you pair it with divide by 10, it creates pretty much an earthquake. Let's throw it on orb and shoot it over here. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat. Yeah, rock, get out of my way. And just for a point of reference on this one as well, this is what it normally looks like. It, it crumbles up very little compared to with uh, divide by 10. All right, and then you also notice that we have these modifiers. So I will be making a separate video for these because uh, um, Infinite Wisp are gonna be a lot easier because you can divide increased lifetime. And thanks so much to Cronus on this because I, I would have found it out, but it probably would have taken me forever. And Cronus just uh, said that, hey, you can, you can divide like modifiers and have it last longer and stuff like that and last shorter. So yeah, uh, let's actually cast it over here. Wait, why did... Oh. Huh? Oh, okay. I was like, wait, that was not 11 times longer. But it had hit the thing over here and just died because that's what it does. All right, so I won't even get into these. And then uh, this one, I had found out that it's, uh, it actually decreases the lifetime of a spell by 30. So that's also gonna help with Infinite Wisp and everything like that. So yeah, fantastic stuff. <laughs> and uh, there's just so much. And as you can see, we have an explosive projectile over here. And I think we're gonna show off a brief finale and then the actual finale. So let's do that. I don't think it's a bug. I don't know what to call it anymore. The intense concentrated light interaction. I think that's a fitting name for it because it's still in 1.0 and it's not detrimental, and it's kind of neat. Uh, for anyone that's not familiar, let me take this off for it. Actually, you know what? Let's divide it with damage. So this is the intense concentrated light uh, interaction, we're gonna call it from now on. So it's a little bit OP with uh, divide by, um, and the only reason I have this reduced Lifetime on is uh, to make sure that there's less particles, but yeah. So uh, go watch that video if you haven't, and then you can find out what's going on. All right, so let's let's get the explosion on here, and uh, without further ado, boop. Wait, nothing happened. Just kidding. Ah. <laughs> uh. I love it. And then let's do it with Chunk of Soil. Let's throw all of these up. That was a little lackluster. And that doesn't look like 11. I wonder how much it actually divides it by. Hmm. Either way, let's clear up this this real quick. This looks so neat. I love it. We just made like a little dome around here. Maybe I could use that for building. Also, I don't know what I did over here or why there's snow. Did I drop snow from somewhere? I guess so. But Let's uh, let's show this off. So the or original reason I threw this divide by 10 on the chainsaw is just to remember to throw divide by 10 over here. Uh, without it, it, well, with it, it'll look something like this. 
And it's just dividing the chainsaw, nothing too spectacular. And then I oh, I just can't get enough of it. This is this is a great wand build. This is what fireworks should look like. Look at them, they're beautiful. I wish I could change the colors of them. Maybe I'll, uh, you know what, let's try that. Um, what does this do? Oh, it doesn't work. That's a shame. I, I hope someday we'll be able to change particle colors, but I bet the devs have enough on their plate for right now. But let's scoot this over here and show what this looks like. And just for another look at it, this is the build. Um, pretty much, I wanted this to go off where we can see it. It was going off way up in the sky, and I couldn't see it, but with this, uh, let's take this off so we don't lag ourselves again. With this, it blows up right when it hits that, that point right here, and that's uh, due to de-accelerating shot. And I think all of this fits on pretty well. Um, obviously we need the pink. We, we could swap it out for, what would be a good color? Let's try green for a second. Ooh, that was pretty too. Wow, I should do all the colors now. What? Red was a little bit lackluster. By red, I mean blood. We keep hitting ourselves. <laughs> We're really good at that. Uh, let's do orange. That looked kind of red. Let's do red red. It looked kind of like the salmon pink. All right. I think we're done. We'll do tentacles. <laughs> it lasted for a second. All right. Well, hopefully you learned something on how the divide spell works and it's super neat. I still haven't figured out everything on it, but to my knowledge, it only modifies the next thing in the block. So it doesn't matter that there's spaces here, it's gonna modify this, uh, or if we threw the chainsaw here, then it'd modify the chainsaw. And if you're wondering why the chainsaw is over here, is this is a 25 cast, so it's casting the chainsaw and getting rid of that cast delay for us, because there's a lot of stuff that's adding cast delay on here. So yeah. But other than that, hopefully you have a wonderful evening, noon, and night, and uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye.